Good morning, beautiful people. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries. G.W.Deliver2020 at gmail.com. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Real quick, I promise you I'm not going to be long. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Another chance um, to get it right in you. Another day of grace, God. We are in the land of the living God and we are grateful. We ask that you forgive our sins, our trespasses, and our shortcomings, God. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for redeeming us back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, so two things I want to talk about. So, one, I want to give a shout out to Ms. Johnson, um, who is in the comments, who basically explained with Adam being um, the first person to fail and I'm to fall, and I'm paraphrasing. Absolutely. I probably should have explained it a little bit more in Romans 5, 19, when it says one man fell and then the other man basically came to redeem us. Yes, the one man that the scripture is talking about is Adam because of the fall. But what I was going into was saying how even Satan fell to the earth and caused them to fall. I probably should have explained it um, and not just take that everybody knew what I was talking about. So thank you, Ms. Johnson, for um, clarifying that for the readers, for those that may have not known. For those of you who know, who knew, you knew what I was talking about. But this is a, um, a we teach like nobody knows okay this is how god teach me with great understanding so i should have clarified that thank you miss johnson um okay the second thing was um remember how i told you that um the lord told me that in this season so before when a person would get exposed it was to pull the coat tail hey get it together i see you you need to repent. You need to get it together. Exposure in that time was for the person, right? Now, the exposure that is coming and people are being exposed is for people to see who they have been following and the darkness of who they really are, regardless to what they say, who they really are. And it was so amazing how um, I was watching this video. I stumbled across. I, I, no, I didn't even stumble across it. You know how videos just keep on playing. So I had on music, um, my worship music. Um, I was cleaning. I was doing, getting some things together. Videos was just playing. I was in and out of the room in the basement doing stuff. And when I came back upstairs, this um, video was on. I'm sorry. This video had came on. And the video was of this guy. And I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know. This guy is exposing Larry Reed. Do anybody know who Larry Reed is? Um, he is a well-known commentator on YouTube. Um, so, um, yeah. But when I say guys... And not only just exposing Larry Reed, but he even told on himself. Um, and allegedly, he even told on other people, like, just telling, like, but he came on as apologetic. Like, I'm so sorry, because we was doing this when he was married, stuff like that. However, I don't, I don't want to get into that. I just want to tell you that when the Lord explained to me that this season of exposure is for believers, because you know why? False prophets will tell you to sow into their ministry to reap a harvest um, when you did not ask Christ what to sow. This is why I am so grateful. I don't tell nobody what to sow into the ministry. If you sow, you sow. If you don't, God bless you. Um, but the whole, the people that do so into God will deliver ministries, I know the Holy Spirit lay it on their heart. And guess what? They will reap a harvest. They will reap a harvest, whether it's an increase in, in their financial, uh, um, uh, increase in good health, um, um, an increase in knowledge, whatever God, um, with you being obedient to Christ. Not to man, but to Christ. And a lot of times people have sown, they've sown seeds 
into ministries that's never going to produce a harvest. This is why the trick is for someone to keep sowing into that ministry. So you have to be prayerful and the, the Holy Spirit will lead you what to sow. I'm telling you, the, the Bible talks about being a cheerful giver. Being a cheerful full giver, not somebody going, oh, sow a seed of a thousand dollars and you're going to meet your husband in March and you like, ouch, a thousand dollars, but I do want to meet my husband. This really going to put a damper on. That's not being a cheerful giver. When the Holy Spirit may say to you, so two thousand dollars, you ain't going, you're going to be like, oh, all right. Thank you, Lord. Because I was wondering what to sow. You know what I'm saying? The, the Holy Spirit could say, sow $2. You'll say, okay, God, thank you. For whatever reason. And whereas in you think it is about your sowing, it's about the obedience of hearing the voice of God and doing what he say do. So I'm saying all that to say, people are sowing into ministries, um, thinking they're going to see a harvest and because the, the 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 sowing the seed is not on good ground and it can't produce a harvest you will not receive nothing but turmoil pray guys it is so important that we pray about everything guys i sow into the ministry in ministries i always ask the holy god can i sow and the Lord would lay it on my heart what to sow. So guys, it is so important that we seek God about everything. Just because somebody tell you to sow to, so you can see this. How about this? God is a God that want to give it to you anyway. Seek him. God is a God that wants your soul to prosper anyway. Seek him. God is a God that wants your health to prosper anyway. Seek him. This is my grandson. I'm sorry I was on live. Hi, grandson. Hey, you want to say hi to the people? Oh. Look. Say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, you can't have that, Bubba. Look. Say, in Jesus' name. Oh. Bubba. That's right. So guys, I love you. Today is a good day to have a great day in Christ Jesus. Remember, pray, fast, repent, and God willing, until next time, I'll see you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.